Hi, welcome back to Easy Moto Tim. Today we're going to look at how simple it is to create and modify a route in Tire to Navigate. We'll save the route and export it to our GPS. Creating a route in Tire to Navigate is even easier than it is in Google My Maps. Let's look at creating a route, saving it to the computer, and exporting it to a GPS. Here we are in Tire with the sample route displayed. Let's create a new route. We'll go to File, New. Now this creates a new tab and we're ready to add waypoints to our new route. Let's do the same route I did in other videos and let's start in New Braunfels, Texas. We'll do waypoint add manually and type in New Braunfels. And we click search. New Braunfels is selected. Click OK. This adds New Braunfels to the waypoint list and centers the map. I'm going to zoom out and go up to Route 337 and I'm going to double click on that to add a waypoint. So there we've added a waypoint on Loop 337. Now we can move that waypoint if we want to. We grab the balloon and we can drag it with our mouse. Now we want to go to Amarillo. So let's use the quick search and type in Amarillo. Click OK. We want this one, click OK. Now we can add this waypoint to our list. If we click Add to Itinerary, it will be added at the end. The last one is selected, so we could also have the option to insert it before. But we want it at the end, so we'll click Add to Itinerary. Now it automatically creates the route extends it, recalculates it, and there you see it. Now we want to stop in Yano, Texas. Let's search for Coopers in the quick search. There we have it on the map, and now we want to insert it before the selected waypoint. Creates the route. Let's look at the route. Now notice up here at the top of the waypoint list that we it says 8 hours and 35 minutes and 528 miles. Also notice on the preference button that we are avoiding highways. So let's toggle that and use the highway. Now it's 811, 8 hours and 11 minutes and 530 miles and it changed uh, the route. Turn that back on. Now let's um, zoom in on the route and let's drag it. Let's drag it to another road. So you see the little box on the route. Click and drag and let's go up there. Now we want to check to make sure that all of these waypoints are on the road. So let's go to our first one, New Braunfels, and zoom in. And that looks okay. Let's go to loop 337. That's on the road, okay. We can go to Cooper's, that's all right. County Road 134 is okay, and our destination Amarillo is fine. There's uh, another feature that you might want to use. Let's look at that preference. Tools, 
Preferences, Files, Tab, and we can use automatic numbering of waypoints. Click OK. And there you see it has numbered each of the waypoints, if you would like to use that. Now we can save this route. Let's go to File, Save. And we'll call this, I like to use in the format Destination from Source, so we'll do Amarillo from New Braunfels. Now let's look at a couple of things we can do. Um, let's save Cooper's as a favorite. So I'll highlight it and then click the star. And that puts it in our favorites folder. We can also use these up and down arrows to change the order. Uh, of course that makes it much longer. It goes out of our way. We'll put it back where it was by using the down arrow. Now let's create the return route. I'm going to create a new route by clicking this new icon. That opens up a new tab and we're ready to add waypoints to it. I'm going to go back to our original route and select all the waypoints. And then I'm going to Waypoint, Copy. Then go to my new route and Waypoint, Paste. Now that's the same route in the same direction. So let's click this double arrow to reverse the route. Yes, we want to reverse it and it will create the route in reverse. And we'll need to recalculate. Now let's go to our first waypoint and zoom in. That's on the road. County Road 134 is okay. Cooper's is okay. Now loop, I'm going to drag the map. Here on the uh, divided road 337, we need to move this waypoint over to the proper direction on the other lane. So I just click and drag and it recalculates and then our final one is OK. Click display the route. We'll close the detail page. And there we have our return rec. And we can now file Save As. And we have New Braunfels from Amarillo. Next, I'm going to plug in my GPS. All right, I plugged in my GPS. Entire recognizes that it's present. And we have a choice of making the system drive, which on my computer is G, or the SD card, which is H. I'm going to select that and click Garmin. And now we can go to Garmin, copy to Garmin. This dialog comes up. If you have the Garmin Drive app and if you have a Zumo XT, you can email the route to your phone and then using the Garmin Drive app on your phone, put it on the GPS. Um, my GPS is not an XT, so I just want it copied onto the SD card. I'll click Cancel, and it's been copied, and click OK. Now, if you want to export this route in a GPX file to use on your uh, Harley or Honda or Indian GPS system, then you need to make a change to Preferences. We'll go to Tools, Preferences, the Files tab, 
and make sure that Use Route Tracks is not selected. If you're going directly to a GPS, that Use Route Tracks should be selected. That puts extra hidden points to uh, help draw the line. With the uh, Harley, for sure, it will not uh, read the file. They get too big. So make sure that that Use Route Tracks is off. Click OK and then File, Save As, and change the Save As type to GPX, and then save it. After that, you can copy that GPX file to a thumb drive and use the thumb drive to put it on your motorcycle. There you have it, a very simple way to create routes using Tire to Navigate. Tire integrates with the TomTom or Garmin GPS, but you can use it with other brands of GPSs, including the ones built into Harley, Honda, or Indian motorcycles. In the next video, we'll look at how Tire handles points of interest files. Thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.